Can you hear me? I hope this reaches you. This city is falling apart. Chaos. Madness. Death. And there might be no going back. But you can change that. It depends on the choice you make. in the darkest of times. All right, buddy, I'm here for you. Don't worry. Charlie here with two of the brilliant and twisted minds from NeoWiz who have created a game that's reimagined Pinocchio as a, mm, a ruthless killing machine to cleanse a plague infested world. Made by the studio behind beloved fantasy MMO Blessed Unleashed and coming from a team of developers who worked on the absolutely awesome Monster Hunter world, I am super excited about this one. Please welcome G1 Choi and Jason Park. Hello. Nice I to told meet you. you they were twisted. It's lovely to meet you, whoever's underneath there. Um, this is haunting. Truly haunting. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a look and see if we can find the humans underneath? Yeah? Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm going to do the slow reveal. Here they are, Jason and Juwan. <laughs> we have a joker. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. There they hey. are. Amazing. They've joined us. Welcome. Now, when I think of Pinocchio, it doesn't quite look uh, up to the trailer that we saw just now. So could you let us know where the idea of Pinocchio as a killing machine actually came from? Our team is called off, and this is the first time we've developed a single-player console game. So we needed a way to get our name out there mm -hmm. in order to stick in the minds of the people. Our strategies were to choose a subject that was very well known, but transform it into something completely original. Um, we eventually chose the adventures of the Pinocchio, but that wasn't a key decision. We first thought about what features we wanted our souls like game to have. And the first, don't ever reference dark fantasy or medieval things. The second, the story shouldn't be childish and we should be able to enjoy it as an adult. And last, the game should be full of adventures and unforgettable characters. Yeah. 
This is a natural ladder to Pinocchio because it matches the conditions we sell. Yeah. I have led Pinocchio when I was a child, but I was shocked when I lead it again more carefully recently. The adventures of the Pinocchio is definitely not a story for children, but rather like an R-rated movie for adults. Mm. Mm, it was <laughs> a real pleasure to take the fantastic source material and create our own original story. Tell a little if I bet it is. And now we're at Gamescom showing it off to the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So when you brought up the initial idea of making a game based on the story of Pinocchio, uh, honestly, I was not convinced at all. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that the Pinocchio is a story for just for kids that should sure for online, uh, so like games. Uh, however, even though I read Pinocchio story a long time ago, uh, I, I remember it vaguely. So I went to the bookstore, bought the book and read it again. And what I've learned is that uh, Pinocchio is not just a fairy tale. Mm. It's uh, more like a reflection of human nature and filled with a lot of you know, unique and attractive characters. That's when I realized we need some... This is something we have to do, revitalizing this amazing story as a game. I think... It sounds like I might need a reread of Pinocchio then. Um, but until then, do you want to give us a bit of a deep dive of the story and the world that your Pinocchio inhabits? Mm, as you already know, Rise of P is based on the original story of Pinocchio, mm -hmm. which is actually quite a brutal. <laughs> and while the main characters in Rise of P are from the Pinocchio, our game's story is completely different and filled with new events. For example, Rise of P takes place in the imaginary city of Kroat, on where petrification disease is spreading and causing a lot of conflict. Ooh. And while you meet a lot of familiar characters from the Pinocchio, they want to be anything, anything like you remember. <laughs> yeah. We introduced the Black Rabbit Brotherhood before, uh, but I'd also like to tell you about Antonia, yeah. who appears at the beginning of the trailer. In the original story, Antonia is actually Antonio, yeah, Jupiter's friend. Yeah. Mm. That is uh, all I can live today, though, and I will save the rest for the future. I was going to say, I definitely don't remember these masks from my childhood, it's <laughs> got to be said. <laughs> yeah, so me too. Uh, my favorite is Black Lady Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. They are also in the original story. Uh, you know, poor Black Lady holding a coffin on their shoulders. They're uh, in Rise of P, they are not just rabbits. They are brutal warriors. Uh, they are still carrying a coffin and always trying to squeeze you into it. I really want to see how you guys survive when they're hunting you. So, in order to go up against them, I have seen from the trailer so far that there are some ridiculous weapons, and you can even take some enemies to the wood shop with them, if I saw that correctly. Um, so talk us through the combat we can expect from Liza P, and how similar is it to the Souls-like games we've been seeing recently? Um, I can confidently say that Liza P is full of a unique and one-of-a-kind of battle system. Mm -hmm. and the first system I'd like to talk about is the weapon combination system. Weapons are divided into two parts, the blade, and the handle yeah, and can be uh, combined in countless ways. Each blade and the handle have their own weight, motions, pictures, and special skills called Fiber Art. Yeah. Oh, okay. So players are free to mix and match and create the perfect weapon for them. It should be fun to try out, um, out the more than 100 of possible combinations. Wow. <laughs> and uh, another unique system in Rise of P is the Legion Arm system, yeah. which you probably already saw on the main character's of left arm. Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, he has an um, actual body of perfect, yeah. so it's possible to modify it with the parts and use special skills. They are particularly flexible and dynamic and can also be strengthened. I'll be fun to choose the right religion now for the situation you are in. Now, I had a chance to play it earlier, by the way, I'm just going to say, and it is so, so difficult. So I just want to let anyone know out there Not that difficult. this game is so difficult, you are going to absolutely love it. But to answer the elephant in the room, obviously the original Pinocchio game had a big emphasis on his nose growing with every single lie. So I have to ask, does this element of the Pinocchio story play into Liza P at all? 
Yeah. Uh, first of all, I think that uh, lying is the most important aspect of the original story. Yeah. Agreed. And when you really think about it, yeah, humans are capable of lying and they can also be proof of their humanity. Yeah. This also means that we approach the concept of lying in a completely different way than the original. Think about it. Is there any more than a more human than using lies to achieve something? Yeah. We think that in order to become real human, one has to lie. And that is reflected in the game by players uh, experiencing a variety of events by lying. The choices they make will also affect Andy. Yeah. As for what this might do to his nose, um, I can spoil that for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you need to find that out for yourself. But I can guarantee you will not expect anything. <laughs> I tell you what, when the full game comes out then, the first thing I'm testing is the lying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in the game you can lie if you be a, you be a human, but always remember, like Levi Prado is always looking for a chance to put all liars into the coffin. Right, okay, moving swiftly onwards from that then. Um, there had to be a ton of people putting a lot of time into Liza P to uh, pull the strings, pun intended, to get a game like this off the ground. So can you talk about the development process and were there any difficulties actually getting people to buy into this reimagining? Actually, in Korea, the majority of games are online piece and the mobile games. Uh, so there aren't many developers with expertise in single player games for console. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we did a lot of uh, trial and error and made a lot of mistakes, but this was unavoidable. Yeah. Despite uh, uh, these challenging circumstances, the fact that our team, not, yeah, <laughs> has a lot of developers who already have the experience with the console game project was a major help. Yeah. Most of all, our team absolutely loves console games, so it was easy to get everyone on board with our visions for Rise of Pin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would like to give all the credit to our team members and they are the reason why Lazio P could come this far. Yeah, and I'm really, really proud of our team. And I'm sure they are so proud of you both sat here today representing the game as well. So shout out to you two in particular. Yeah, yeah it is the first time for us to make a single player game. We all have a lot of experiences on developing action games, but only limited to online games. Um, at first, I was thinking that uh, making single-player games would be easier uh, in terms of technical perspective, mm -hmm. like uh, no network sync issues, etc. Uh -huh. But it didn't take long that I realized I underestimated. Yeah, our game needed a lot of features we haven't even imagined when you develop online games. Okay. We only have one playable character, which is which is easier to make because online games normally have more than five. Very true. But this one player character, I mean Pinocchio, <laughs> requires, I guess, you know, 10 times more animations wow. than the that online games. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah, Pinocchio uses a lot of different types of weapons and each weapon requires total unique, unique animations of, yeah, total set of units. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Total unique set of animation. So I had I have to admit I our initial plan was uh, off in terms of estimating the the cost of the animations. Yeah. So, so if you look at our studio and probably you can see our animated artists and combat designers yelling at each other <laughs> and uh, arguing all the time. We are still in this chaos, but. Anyway, we are enjoying it, and definitely we will be better at planning it next time. Well, I really appreciate that you brought the chaos to us here in Germany, but before we run out of time, I do want to give you to the floor to share anything you want with everyone out there about Liza P's before its release. Actually, uh, we didn't expect Liza P to get this much interest and love from gamers. Uh, we really, really want to thank you all for the tremendous level of support. Uh, we'll do our absolute best and are sure that you will be mesmerized by the city of, city of Kratz. Uh, take care and uh, see you in there. Xbox Game Pass <laughs> next to you. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, for everybody at Gamescom, don't forget to visit our booth and play the demo. Enjoy it 
and please share your experiences with us. Uh, thank you for having us today and enjoy Gamescom with Rise of P. Guys, thanks again so much for joining me. But now, Dancing Robots, Creepy 